Welcome back to Eye in the Sky Drones, where we do drone tech on this channel. And today we're going to be taking another look at the Mavic 3 and one of the features, Active Track. Have you used Active Track on your Mavic 3? But we're going to dive right in, see what it's all about, see what it can do. All right, so here we have the Mavic 3 just doing a basic Active Track. If you notice, there's a little drone symbol on the Active Track. From this symbol, you can choose if the drone follows you from behind to the left to the right. You can even follow diagonal. So this gives you a little bit of freedom of movement while the drone's tracking you. If you were to hit the stop button, you would notice that it has another feature. And then a POI is the point of interest. That's the one that circles you. But right now we're just doing active track and when we don't have a fast moving subject, as you can see, He's taking a slow stroll, a slow walk, and the drone is following him from the front now. Um, it's going to reposition itself because I believe it was set to follow him from behind. And it's doing that now as he moves. If the subject isn't moving during active track, it's hard for the drone to know which angle you want to follow from. But the drone is repositioning itself behind him now. With the Mavic 3 on active track, you can either do spotlight, active track itself, or you can do point of interest. And I'll go over a few of those things to let you see what it's all about. First we have spotlight. Spotlight mode in the Mavic 3, you put a box around your subject and then no matter where you fly your drone, it focuses on your subject. It's pretty good, the subject could be moving or standing still, it'll still track that subject. It's a pretty good feature, allows you to get some great shots. The point of interest is the orbit when your drone makes a perfect circle around the object. Sometimes um, we like when we're practicing and learning, we like to get to learn how to do a perfect circle manually, but with point of interest, it does it on its own. It's pretty useful. And then finally, we have active track. Active track is, if you remember when the Mavic 3 first came out and they showed commercials, it was zipping through woods, following this subject on the bike. I don't know if we're going to get that close to that in a real life scenario, but it will follow your subject and avoid obstacles on the way if they're not too strenuous. This is a scenario where the drone is following I went from behind, and I'm going to switch for it to follow from the right. And as you can see, the drone veers off to the right while still keeping me in focus. Now, this is a look at the footage as the drone swings around still has me in focus, still has me on the center of the shot. That's what active track is all about. Just keeping everything in focus and following you. So you cut out some of that lead work and some of that camera movement of keeping your subject focused. It's good for people who don't have good hand eye coordination following people. Now this is active track. As you can see, the drone in the middle has a little yellow tip behind me. And here's the wheel I was talking about where you can choose the orientation of the drone following you. You can follow from left, right, from the front to the side, diagonal. And the drone, if you're moving, it'll position itself to where you want it to film from. And if you're, it, Active Track not only works on people, but it works on cars, on boats, and you just highlight your subject, and, they, and, and then you're off, you're off good to go. And when I say highlight, you draw a box around them. The drone will notice you and try to do a pre-fill box in some instances, but if you can't pre-fill it, you pre-fill it yourself by drawing a box. Now, this is Spotlight. This is another feature I was telling you about. When you, when you have Spotlight on, whatever highlighted, the drone focuses on that item, and you have full control of the stick. So you can fly the drone wherever you want to fly it, and your subject is highlighted, it's in focus, and the drone will keep focus on your subject. Pretty good feature to have. Make some good, amazing shots with this feature. It's pretty good. All right, signing off from Island Sky Drones. As always, be safe and have fun flying.